Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. Don't put all of your pleasure in one basket. Spread the love, spread it around, make sure you're enjoying many things so that you don't end up having that one thing also turn into a negative. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of Light Pink, best selling author, three time fitness world champion, and I'm a crazy multi passionate entrepreneur. My journey has taken me everywhere from being a broke waitress, barista, retails associate, and personal trainer with massive anxiety and no belief in myself to later becoming a multi-millionaire in love with my life. In 2007, my husband and I lost everything. We found ourselves hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt at rock bottom. We had no ideas and I had no education to fall back on. This is when I found personal development and learned everything I could about business, not by choice, but because I realized no one was coming to save me. The conversations on this podcast are going to let you know that you're not alone and that we all feel like we don't know what we're doing. We're going to give you the tools to help you face your fears, take action, start your business and grow those massive dreams that are keeping you up at night. It's time to create a life that you can't hide from and put so much on the line that your higher self is forced to come out. You're going to stop waiting for someone to approve of you and you're going to anoint yourself. Because I'm obsessed about building businesses that give women a platform, I want to feature you. So if you text the word podcast to 310-496-8363, You can get your questions answered on our Q&A segment along with a shout out. And if you rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast, we're choosing someone every month to get coached and featured on our show. 
It just might be you. So let's get started. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the show. It's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit in inspiration. And I just had a podcast. I had to I had to get off of a, of a podcast that was literally one of my favorite. I feel like I say that a lot, but truly this one just so timely, rocked my world. I just got off of an interview with Cindy Eckert, who um, also has something called the Pinkubator, where she invests back in women. She sold her company for $1.5 billion, you guys, with a B. Yes, that is so incredibly rare. Um, and she created essentially the Viagra for Women. And this got us to really chatting about um, pleasure. It got us chatting about desire in life in general, not just sexually, um, but in life in general, right? Desire and pleasure. And, you know, what I had the realization of on uh, the podcast, besides so many freaking things, don't even get me started about how important it is to have women pull up a seat at the decision making table for other women. You guys have to listen to this podcast. It'll be out in, oh gosh, probably a couple months. So sit tight. But with that said, talking about how important it is to assess our life and make sure that we have lots of moments of joy and pleasure. Because what we were talking about was number one, one one of the first things we're talking about because she did create this um, pill to help women get their libido back was that, you know, a lot of women, especially busy women or, you know, high achieving women, older women, whatever, it doesn't matter who our hormones can be off. Different things can be off of their chemistry. You know, they're, they've lost pleasure in, or they, they've, you know, haven't gotten desire for having sex or for having pleasure in the bedroom. And with that said, what happens when we have all of these different areas of our life that we don't experience pleasure around, like maybe we hate our jobs Maybe sex isn't something that's exciting anymore because we're so busy or because we do have something chemically off. Maybe we have no pleasure in our day-to-day life. Maybe we're eating food that doesn't bring us pleasure. Maybe we're on healthy eating plans and we're like, Meh, we're not taking the time to make our food taste good. Maybe we are you know, so busy that we're numbing out on things that we think think are actually enjoyable like Instagram, but actually aren't bringing us long-term pleasure. What ends up happening when we don't instill or inject or make sure that we have some pleasure in our life is that we are going to be putting all of that pleasure into one thing or one unhealthy thing, or it's going to be so few and far between that we take the things that are pleasurable, like having a cocktail or eating or going out, and we are going to run them through the wall. We're going to run it into the ground. We're going to do those things till it's so unhealthy. We're going to binge drink. We're going to binge eat. We're going to stay out late. We're going to maybe do things that are questionable because it feels good to get attention finally because there's no pleasure in our lives anywhere. That it's actually an extremely negative thing in our lives that will show up later if we don't start taking time to put pleasure in our everyday life. Now, this doesn't mean that you can just take your life right now if you don't love your job and you know you don't love the things necessarily in it or what you're doing. Then just be like, yeah, I'm going to inject these things that I think are pleasureful now. Like, Lori, what do you want me to do? You want me to go to the spa all the time every week? Because I sure love that and I can't afford it. Or what? I love Disneyland. Should I be going to Disneyland every week? That's not what I'm saying. I am to an extent saying that. Of course, you should be doing those things. You should be Um, putting things in your calendar to look forward to more often and following through, even though they seem really, really not, you know, in your uh, necessarily in your favor or convenient, right? You're like, oh, I'm too busy for that. Oh, I'm too tired for that. We should absolutely, that's one of the first things that we should do is inject some things to look forward to every single week, if not every other week, right? Like, okay, well, can we go camping? Could we go to this place over here? Could I go to this restaurant? Could we inject a date into our week so that we can, you know, have something to look forward, like make sure you have things to look forward to. What I'm also talking about, the other 50% of making sure you have pleasure in your life is to start looking at the things that you're doing and seeing how you can reframe your mindset around them or add some things. And I know that I've talked about this before, injecting joy, 
Um, but look at joy also as pleasure, right? So if you are working in your office all day, are you working at a messy desk? Did you turn on the music you like? Could you light a candle? Could you go get your favorite almond milk latte from somewhere and be like, okay, if I work for this next two hours focused, I'm going to go and take a break and get this little piece of dark chocolate and an almond milk latte. And I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to enjoy, like I'm going to actually stop working for a minute and I am going to savor what this tastes like and how amazing it is to just like have this beautiful little pleasure for myself throughout the day and have a moment to myself. And maybe I'm going to dream about the future or maybe while I have that almond milk latte, I'm going to take 30 minutes and I am going to look at the next two weeks and see what I really want to do and either book a spa appointment or I'm going to book a lunch with a friend. Like who would I love to see? And I'm going to look at the things that are going to bring me joy. So maybe you add into your calendar like an hour every week or every two weeks where you're actually going to plan out your joy and you're going to make it joyful while you're planning out your joy. For me, I have these moments where I'm like, okay, on Wednesday, if I work really hard on Wednesday, what I'm going to do in the evening is I'm going to order takeout from True Food, whatever I want. And I'm going to have a glass of wine and I'm going to online shop at Revolve. And I'm going to, you guys, it's one of my favorite websites. So bad. So good. I'm going to online shop and I'm going to do this for like two hours. And I'm going to look at all the outfits and I'm going to think of all of the different things that I could wear. And I'm also going to think of a date that I would love to wear this outfit on. Yeah. So the, <laughs> you're like, you're either with me right now or you're like, that sounds terrible. So I think of different ways to inject pleasure into my week, even during really busy weeks where I just want to cry all week long. I'm like, okay, I need some things to look forward to, even if they're small things. So you guys, even if I don't end up buying anything, sometimes I'll just be like, I'm going to add things to my cart that I think I want. And then on Friday, I'm going to see if there's anything in there that I want to keep. So there's just a million different ways to inject pleasure into your day. But I'm telling you, if you don't inject pleasure into your day to day, no matter what that looks like, you know, I, I now have learned to find pleasure in my workout because I'm like, during my workout the whole time, I'm like, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for doing hard things while you're building this business. I literally can't believe it. Like, this is incredible that you are, you're staying in shape or you're getting stronger. Or you're making sure that you're taking care of your health while you're doing this. Like, I'm so proud. And whether you think so or not, you guys, eventually you will find pleasure in taking care of yourself because you'll be so damn proud that you're doing both things, building your business and taking care of yourself. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to find pleasure in my stretch right before and in my stretch after. I'm not going to waste my life dreading everything just because I have to work out, you know, in the future or whatever that looks like. I'm going to try to find pleasure in in the moment. I'm going to try to stop dreading and living in the future and I'm going to be here now because a lot of times when you live in the future, you have anxiety. You can't it robs you of the pleasure in the moment. If you live in the past, you have depression and it robs you of the pleasure in the moment. So a lot of times finding pleasure means getting in the moment and being in the moment. So where can you look at your life as one big, proud, pleasure-filled thing? And whether that sounds crazy to you or not, if you don't start doing this, you're going to binge on pleasure and it's going to become a very negative thing. And that thing that you find pleasure in will become toxic. Instead, if you spread your pleasure out, meaning you should have a lot of things that bring you pleasure, not just one. I know for me, the things that used to bring me pleasure were just going out. It was drinking and eating. And it was horrible because the thing that brought me pleasure made me feel like I was also in prison. So it was like, I want to drink. I want to eat. But when I do, it makes me feel so bad that then I hate myself for it. Now I have a lot of things that bring me pleasure that I don't binge on. And now I don't hate myself for it. Now I can actually fully be there for them. I can actually fully be present when I'm eating delicious food instead of binging because it's not the only thing that brings me pleasure. And I'm not thinking, oh my God, on Monday, I have to go back to just broccoli and chicken and you know, work out so hard that I don't get any pleasure from my workouts. They're horrible. They're torture. It's 
you know, it's beating myself up. It's, it's, you know, holding myself accountable for what I ate. Like I don't look at workouts that way either. Like everything I do now, I try to look at how this can bring me pleasure and how I can be proud of it and how I can spread my pleasure out. So it's not just one thing on the weekend or binge eating. Like for me, it's really hard now because I competed for so long. And, you know, a lot of, I know a lot of people doing 75 hard, which I think is absolutely epic. But for me, I can't postpone pleasure that long. Meaning some of the things that I think are pleasurable, I like to bring in food, certain foods. I like to bring in, you know, a glass of wine or two throughout the week. I like those things that spread my pleasure out so that it doesn't feel like I have to wait for some of the things that I want to do. Now, in the beginning, I had to do that. I actually had to do things like 75 hard. I actually had to do. um, So I actually think it's vital for people who have zero discipline or, or have never felt like they have good discipline or for people who just haven't learned how to create that discipline muscle. Um, I had to compete in fitness in order for me to understand that I could go a long time without these things and I could postpone pleasure. But now that I've learned how to have some control, I had to inject it back in. So maybe you're in that space. Maybe you had to get that discipline muscle and you had to do those things. But now you're like, wow, I really want to break free of having to do these things in order to feel the way I want to feel. Like I need to start living a more balanced, consistent consistently pleasurable life while keeping these things, but maybe not at such an extreme place. So it might be for you looking at, you know, I know that if I spread this pleasure out that I'm going to find a balance within here. So I hope that you guys took something from this. I hope that maybe it helped give you an aha moment, you know, that, that maybe you are putting all of your treasure in one, you're, Wow. Treasure. Yes. I hope that you're, don't you love that? Those Freudian slips where you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Putting all of your pleasure in one basket. Wow. I didn't even think of that until right now. (laughs) So don't put all of your pleasure in one basket. Spread the love, spread it around. Make sure you're enjoying many things so that you don't end up having that one thing also turn into a negative. All right, you guys, sending you so much love. Until next time, earn your happy. Bye-bye. Hey, all I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about, or they just forget. 
That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community and everyone is talking about the power of community without an online community you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement which is what i know that we're all after and you can build trust or monetize your audience when you get community right not only does your audience grow faster but so do your sales but where's everybody going to be managing their communities these days and a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to circle.so circle is an all-in-one community platform it lets you host content and create discussions live streams group chats and memberships all under your own brand and what's so cool about circle.so is that you don't even need a website or facebook group instead circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members you can even create locked and unlocked content spaces groups and classes how freaking cool is that you can put your content behind a paywall too and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site circle.so is famously easy to use and it has a free 14-day trial for you so you can go check it out see if you like it see if you love all the options just go to circle.so go check it out right now you guys imagine being able to manage your community start group chats and live classes and accept payments all in one place kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place you have to log into so many different things if this is the year to capture organize and monetize your community head over to circle.so you can get a free trial and start building your online community right now just go to circle.so you guys you get the 14 day free trial so just go and see if it's for you it's going to streamline everything and make your life so much easier it's so freaking cool